Now I like oddities in the Surrey landscape as you well know and this is a great one. Hi all, it's a rather glorious Monday morning and I brought you to a place which um, I've come through so many times over the years it's in a few of my videos but I've never actually done a whole video from this place so I brought you to the Surrey Hills and the famous Box Hill still closed at the moment although everything's opening up um, but it's open access land so you can come here walking lots of cyclists as you can see um, biplanes over overhead so yeah we're on the chalk escarpment of the North Downs and the North Downs way ancient trackway and uh, we'll start off by going down to the uh, famous Solomon's Memorial so we're on the summit of the North Downs the ancient trackway of the North Downs Way passes um, just below us, which I've walked a couple of years ago. And um, come and show you the wonderful view. The sun keeps going in and out at the moment, so a uh, little bit of cloud, but it's actually very, very sunny and uh, lots of blue sky. So hopefully we'll have a nice um, view to show you. We are at the Solomon's Memorial, built in 1914, dedicated to Leopold Summons of Norbury Park. And as you see, the view is pretty spectacular. Right down to the Gatwick Airport and the South Downs. The memorial gives you some nice mileage of how far everything is. Ordnance survey. They're all the range until GPS. <laughs> See, yeah. It's dorking down there, as you know. Now the sun's come out and the morning mist has cleared. Spectacular view. Come back in a minute. Let's head up to the fort. A box hill was named after the box trees or box plants that grow on the uh, scalp of the hill. Obviously made very famous by um, 1700s and 1800s gentry coming from the spa town of Epsom nearby and it's been a famous site ever since. So nice here. I mean, I got here quite early, about half nine. It's already starting to uh, get busy in the car park. So I've turned the cafes not open all that. Get a black coffee or something. Yeah, amazing place. There's been settlement here since Neolithic times. Once again, we're high up on a ridge um, of the North Downs, so near the ancient trackway of the North Downs Way, and the uh, Pilgrims Way as well, which is uh, a slight divergence. I'm going to do a video about the Pilgrim's Way very soon. The Pilgrim's Way, fact or fiction. So yeah, let's uh, head over to the fort. This is the famous zigzag road, which a lot of the cyclists use. This is the cycle route uh, in the 2012 Olympics. Yeah. The film Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the opening sequence, was filmed on this road, actually back in 1968. One of the few, I think the only film that the Bond of James Bond producers uh, produced outside of uh, um, of the 007 flicks. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, yeah. And we'll walk down to the uh, fort. We are back to a fort. Built, uh, I think about 1899. 
as a final defence against London. Obviously never saw any active service. It's a lovely, lovely ruin. It's only what, 100, 120 years old? Yeah. I have done videos from here before and I've walked through Box Hill. Mm. got a lot of chalk graffiti on chalk quite apt really because we're on the chalk downs yeah why do we have the graffiti everywhere nothing much inside unfortunately gopros are no good in low light anyway so um yeah. it's a shame we can't really turn these into a little museum or something very similar to Rygate Fort, uh, not too far from here. I'll link that video below, along the uh, further down the uh, North Downs Way, at Rygate Hill. This is just round the corner from the visitor centre. Literally walk a couple of yards round and uh, behind the cafe, so it's easy to find. Then you've got a lovely walking trail that goes down to uh, scenic viewpoints. Okay, lovely. Let's head on. This is the juniper, yeah, the juniper top walk, which I did with my friend Steve uh, about a year and a bit ago. It goes down there, and then up again onto down up, and then down to Mickleham. That's a nice walk. So yeah, let's head back, and I'm going to show you a bit more uh, Box Hill. Unfortunately, it's private property, but a Swiss cottage here is where John Logie Baird tested out his very first television system. The inventor of television did most of the experiments here on Box Hill. Probably one of the most revolutionary uh, inventions of the 20th century. So yeah, television was invented here, in a way. You can hear the roar of the A24. That's the old uh, Roman road, or parts of the old Roman road that goes from London to Chichester goes down past Dorking. Very busy trunk road. There's also, on the road leading into the main visitor complex, uh, a couple of uh, barrows, Bronze Age barrows, that have already been cut by the road, which is rather unfortunate. Um, yes, yeah, so that's quite interesting. I'm fascinated by old barrows. There's never really much to see there though. They're always sort of, you know, they've been there so long and corrosion and people working the land so uh, yeah still fascinating now I like oddities in the Surrey landscape as you well know and this is a great one the grave of Major Peter Le Bellier an eccentric resident of Dorking was buried here head down on the 11th of July 1800 I think that's been disputed now, but uh, yeah, his grave up here on the downs. Apparently his ghost is seen on his horse riding across the downs. It's all folklore of course, but still interesting. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video from Box Hill. Lovely place to go, if you're in Surrey obviously you'll know it well. Um, some great places to see, lots of nature, loads of walking trails great on a lovely beautiful day like this so if you like the video please like please consider subscribing leave a comment always good to read uh, read people's experiences of these places and we'll see you next time take care <laughs>